Good evening guys, I'm going to switch over in a second. I'm just busy sorting out um, my Discord here yeah, because we've got quite a few guys already talking in the background. So let's switch over. I'll show you I'm busy loading my X-Plane. Uh, XD Twisty, I see that something of your, some of your comments were deleted. No idea what it is. Um, if it was a swear word, that's obvious the problem. So just watch how you uh, type because the bot is set up to block a couple of things. Hello, Dougal, and hello, Warren. And um, thank you guys for joining. I, I hope this is going to be a nice, fun flight. I see there are one, two, three, four, five, six guys on the ground already uh, without me. And I hope it's going to grow to a little bit more. Hi Lucian and hello Norman. Okay, let's patch into Discord so we can start the chatter going and start talking to them as well. Okay, gentlemen, you are live on my stream. Please note. Gentlemen, please note you are live on my stream. Yes, sir. Yeah. And Nico, you uh, and Andre is streaming as well, so we're live on two streams. Yeah, cool. double streaming today. Great. Good morning, everybody. Hello. 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 Good evening on this part of the. <laughs> it's funny when the wind takes the little seas. Not like that. I think it's the wind. Looks like it. Let's get our Z bug going. And now I need to make sure I don't go and spawn on top of somebody. So I'm going to guess. That's 407. Looks like that's open. Yeah, okay. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. We're going to see when we connect on Ratsum. Hello, Kevin. Well, Dougal, go, go have dinner and just watch the stream, my friend. And then, look, there is another leg after this. It's going to be a bit late for me to fly the second leg um, due to our time zone and time difference. Um, but the guys are continuing. So if you are in a position to fly later on, enjoy. Hello, XD. All right, now, that's interesting. That's now... A space occupied by static aircraft, and there's probably going to be some at some traffic on it. Who okay, cares? So we're going to do it. Um, I've actually lately started using WED, and I've been removing as many of static um, aircraft that I could possibly find. Uh, you know, when we do the at some flights, because they just inevitably interfere. But um, obviously. This is brand new airports. Um, I've not flown from them yet, so we'll get there. Go. Go Crikey, wouldn't it make more sense for, for these guys to use push to talk? Yeah, I think so. Guys, is it possible we can use push to talk? Because there's some heavy breathing going on here and I haven't identified the guy yet. No, uh, it's Cody. Uh, okay, okay. It's funny. Sounds good. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> Sound check from me. Perfect. I just need to remember now that I've gone to push the talk for Discord at least. <laughs> yeah. It didn't sound very it didn't sound very good, did it? <laughs> yeah. Um it's fun to a point, you know, and then you have to start managing the fun.
Good afternoon, evening, guys. Hello, hello. Hello. Hi. I think I might start off, but uh, dinner's on the go, so I may be caught out again for the later, yeah, me unfortunately. Too. That's fine, guys. There's no rules, so you just come and go as you need to, eh? I guess it makes sense to mute the um, the YouTube stream for us. Absolutely. If you're on Discord, that is the way to go. And now I see I have spawned on someone else, so I'm going to have to just move up one. Yep, I see you making sweet love to somebody. Now, I haven't connected to Vatsum yet, but I can see on my SDKP map I'm standing on top of Southwest 1788. That would be me, so you're going to make sweet love to me <laughs> uh, right now. Yeah, no, no, don't worry, it won't happen. Mrs. De Brain will not like that. Yeah, I know. I love you, Nico, but not in that <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah. Right, that looks better. Guys, um, do you guys have a preferred runway for takeoff and landing? Because I've obviously pre-planned and used default. I see there's no wind either side, so it's uh, much of a match. I'm the point two six right. right, which is what they're doing in real world, and then three zero left or right for uh, arrival. Awesome, thanks. But given the crappy weather at arrival, the low visibility, I prefer the ILS on two three zero left yes, rather same. than the RNAV on three zero. Same, yeah, same. that's what I'm set up to do as well. So two six three. So try to give people uh, three minutes of separation between there then. Yeah. Because visibility is only like a mile or two reported. Wow. So, so say That'll be fun. Departure runway is two six right. Correct. Roger. In guys in uh, Discord, I am streaming if you guys don't mind. No, please go ahead, Andre. Hello, by, hello, oh, by the way. I'm hey, also Andre. streaming. Made it back in one piece from Brazil, huh? Uncle John, would you mind going to push the talk, please? We've got multiple streamers um, also streaming. Uncle John? I've just done it. Okay, cool. No, I just didn't get the response, so I'm asking. How far away from uh, being ready are you Five. guys? 20 Five minutes. Does anybody know about uh, five? Yeah, I'm about 22. Just got in the sim toolkit pro. Yeah, the uh, the push time on Facebook was uh, 18:50. Yeah, I I'm not in any hurry to push. I'm just getting the plane ready and then sitting on ground power. So I'm not gonna burn any fuel or anything. Don't worry. Right guys, and we are starting to prep here, yeah? and I'm also not in much of a rush, I just don't want to go to bed too late, but other than that we've got time. Now, hope you guys are all doing well and uh, enjoying whatever it is that what are you, you are doing for the weekend. Three, four, yeah, same. Same. Three. Three, four, zero, same.
Hello, Chronic. How are you doing? So this is some toolkit pro all the blue aircraft are the guys flying offline the green aircraft are the guys on VATSIM and the red aircraft is myself that is my own one so we've got one two three four five six seven guys and XP Aviator um, I'm not sure what his call sign is but he's also streaming on his YouTube channel so we've got two streamers run two streams running and that's one of the reasons we asked for the push to talk because then we can have kind of silence at some point in time just concentrate a little bit better okay so takeoff runway will be 26 right this is ontario in uh, california and we're going to fly up north so next step flight planning it from some brief I am still unable to create the flight from some toolkit but I'm still waiting on Dan to um, fly haze with some brief because there's definitely a some brief problem here um, and it's strange it seems not to affect everybody but you know when it does it does uh, he'll fix it I'm sure between himself and some brief um, I had wonderful interaction with some brief this week guys it was really pleasure dealing with their support guys and they fixed the Zebo loading for the, uh, at least the the actual um, Simbrief packs weights you know to get the loading correct and that was that was really cool so let's see quickly we are going to fly this route so from the bottom up uh, this looks fairly straightforward the bottom from the fact that we don't really have a cruise uh, phase we've got a sit running into a star there's no flight portion as such so I heard the guy say they were going to fly flight level 340 so we'll stick to that as well we can just quickly have a look see that it's good load it's our transition not what I wanted sorry uh, 30 left So who all do we have with us uh, on this flight today in uh, Vatson? Oh, well, I'm here. Alex is here. Oh, Nico's here. John, I think. Yeah. Yeah, he's here. I'm not I'm sure if uh, Francisco is online. Or I'm here. Hard. Awesome. I'm gonna join in a minute here. Yeah, okay. And yeah, we've got 10 uh, guys in Discord already. A couple more that I know are coming. Uh, I'm sure they'll be here when they get here. I don't think one of the guys will be on Batsim though. But I'm got going it. to. Who's keep the my British Airways uh, Speedbird 65? On that little one there. Lots of result. Good evening, Ivor Silly. That's a, a funny little entry point yeah. there, but we'll just keep our eyes on it when we do the actual flight uh, legs. Online, yeah. Okay, but uh, I won't do ATC. Um, the problem with the Mac is uh, it's finding a client for the sound as well. Anybody know anything about that? Negative, I'm not familiar with Mac. 
Right, that's a perfect forecast this. by now. I've got a Windows machine. <laughs> Hello, Christer. Yeah, I haven't logged in yet either. Um, in actual fact, while we are talking about it, let me quickly grab my flight plan from here and then um, pull the Watson story up here. And I'll show you guys that you can connect to that as well. 810 connect. What is the time, by the way? I should be done by about eighteen forty. Right, uh, time in. About an hour fuel availability is going to be to make it 215 because it says 218. We don't want to also go crazy, so we'll say 215. Krister, don't worry, my friend. Um, there's we, we are more than 10 guys now on Discord. What's happening? My sound went crazy, sorry. I hope you're not hearing the same buzz as me. Anyway, we've got more than 10 guys. It's going to take a while to uh, dispatch everybody, Krista, so, so take your time. and now we should see the other guys here as well there we go yeah that's a nice full house look at that this is a nice group flight wow well in terms of attendance at this point in time so and it will grow Uh, Flatsom Brazil, I'm using X-Pilot currently. Um, there you go, that's X-Pilot. X um, I'm not very happy with uh, one of the things related to this disconnect issue that they've, you know, tried to fix and brought in that it auto disconnects you with low frame rate. But other than that, it's really great. I use V-Pilot for P3D, so X-Pilot is just natural for X-Plane. And uh, I've also got Swift, so if this one gives me assholes, I just switch over, you know, so it's much of a muchness for me. And when I get fed up with Vatsum, I actually fly no mayo anyway, so I've got options. Um, Vasily, I know that, and what I usually do, in fact, is um, I also pre-file. Then if you pre-file, you don't even have to fill in or download or do anything with XPilot uh, or Swift for that matter or with a new Iveo client. Um, I just didn't have time. Um, I was sleeping until very close to the stream time and um, when I woke up and had to get ready to do the stream, um, I obviously just didn't have enough time to set up everything. Uh, but like I said, I usually just do a pre-file because that pre-file is valid for two hours and the moment you connect with the same call sign and it ties it to your Vatsum ID uh, or are they lately now as well um, you don't even have to touch the flight plan uh, uh, little button there and fill in anything which is very cool um, also as a matter of interest let me show you this if you go to uh, flight planning at the bottom here, in some Toolkit Pro, I can actually pre-file to Vatsum, Iveo. I can do a couple of things here. So, there, there are many, many ways to skin this cat.
All right, the other thing is I always, lately now, um, just become a habit because I use some toolkit plan. It's just easier to come and actually export the flight plan from here. So uh, that obviously will put it into my uh, explain FMC output folder and I can pick it up in the uh, company route as well. So our payload will be 17.1 for this flight and the fuel we're going to load is 6 right that takes care of that I really need to change the city realism when I do my flight tests and stuff I always put it on short save it quickly. Right, so now we're back to normal. GPU we don't need, we're using the ground from the jetway there, so get the push back we can do. Hey Kevin. Yeah Kevin, it's very possible. Did you see the pictures they released of this cable that is burnt? I mean it's physically burnt to a crisp. Um, which I find very interesting because I was uh, absolutely under the impression that we are talking about a fiber cable and I for the life of me can't see why a fiber cable would burn you know unless it's going into a junction box that's got electricity or something um, I don't see why a fiber line should burn just one of those Ground to interesting things plan acknowledged. call me through the menu when you are ready Right, so that is all taken care of. We can now continue with the rest of our setups here. Right, we'll do that a little bit later. Three, four, zero, and Go. I'm on Batsim now, getting fueled up. Well, at least there is a date. Because um, I can't wait. This, this is killing me. So many things just don't work as they used to. And as they should because of the silly cable. I hope they just repair it quickly. I mean, for the longest time, it's only in the last couple of days that my Twitch was able to work again. I mean, I lost like a month. I don't see any coverage on Batson for Ontario. Is that the same for you guys? Same Correct. here. Yeah. Andres, uh, we can't hear you on Twitch. Okay, let's look at the legs. Let's have a look, see what we yeah, are. Yeah, it's a typical with. smoggy day in LA today. That's the truth. <laughs> Can't see shit. Hey, what's that thing? Go back. Uh, Robbie? Hi, guys. I think I was doing really well setting up the aircraft quickly. There. Did it? Power cut. <laughs> Did you, did you get me on that just now? Um, sorry, I'm not concentrating that side. You're welcome to say again. Let me hear. 
Yeah, no, I just set everything up on the aircraft and it's really bad weather around here near Bristol. Good job you did it this morning and a power cut. Oh. So not very, I was so pleased with myself getting quick at it now. <laughs> and I've lost it all. Off we go again. Ouch. Um, chronic, yeah, we had three. There were three breaks. Um, so what happens is South Africa, and I'm speaking under correction, but to the best of my knowledge, we've only got six lines of internet coming into the whole of the country and the funny thing is that not all of them are shared Bristol, with UK? everybody let me just kill the desktop yeah, audio quickly yeah. hold on okay it's my home airport i'm probably about 40 sorry otherwise i can't speak to you guys all right so um we we only in the history of south africa once had the opportunity to use the department of defense on our site's internet connection um because there was one other outage many years ago that required that and then, then we were really stuck but fortunately you know it was also in the old days so the internet wasn't that you know in demand now we've got a Google pipe and we've got uh, the Seacom and we've got the uh, wax cable and and so on and so forth so we've got cables running on the west of Africa cables on the east of Africa and then we've got one going straight to New York um, but most of our internet runs via the UK and um, obviously every and any and everybody using the main lines going to the UK got affected so it was crazy bad Right, let's get the voices back. Right, I've taken care of this little niggly thingy there. I mean, there's no point in having that weird situation. Anybody else in the western US? Yes, sir. Vegas. Oh, very nice. Southern California. Used to live in San Diego, if that's any help. <laughs> I wish I could go back there. I moved up to LA uh, about a year ago. Yeah, I used to be near LA in Pasadena, but now I'm based in Europe. Yeah, I was in Laguna Niguel for a little while, and then uh, Anaheim. Now I'm nice. here in Vegas. Well, you're in the right place for uh, FS Expo. You're not wrong about that. Nice cheap flight for you. It won't cost me anything. It cost no. me about 12 bucks in gas money both ways. I'm uh, probably 10 miles from the convention center. Oh, that's great. I'm hoping I can catch a cheap Southwest flight. Yeah, that'd be nice. Try to get one out of uh, Long Beach or John Wayne. Yeah, and I'd have to deal with LAX for sure. Yeah, screw that. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> Literally no wind. Does any of you guys have any idea why my displays are pitch black even when I have power in the aircraft? No. Not supposed to be. IRS is aligned. All the lights turned up. Are you using HDR? Mm. <laughs> Actually, that's not 100% correct. The up 0 0.1 is a bit much. Um, it's less than that, but we'll take it. We're just rounding it off. Um, chronic same year we don't have it often it's the second time in my life and I'm 46 years old that we've had such a huge disruption of internet um, uh, what yeah, do you guys say you're using for arrival the ILS 30 left yeah cat 2 uh, whoever was asking about the cockpit and the displays. Francisco, was it you? Yeah, yeah. The guys on my stream are suggesting to check your HDR and also your anti-alias settings. Okay, let me check that out. 
and our tidy damage is 14.14. Is she having a frame rate problems? Not me. No, I'm running at 40 FPS, but I have power on the aircraft and the displays are black. I have HDR on and anti aliasing. None. Should I put it on or something like that? Just call it AA. It's easier. Drive both ways. Uh, mine's on, so drive both ways for you. Mine's automatic. One forty six and we said thirty four. I'm pretty sure Francisco will figure it out. By the way, by the way, now that I remember, I owe the previous stream guys something. I'm gonna try to remember to put that in just now. Right, so this is a good airport, the um, El Navinav is armed, so we're okay with that. What is our trim? Reasonably close. I'm not going to count that off with every click, so we're just guessing to the best of our ability. Let us welcome our passengers. Ladies and gentlemen, from the flight deck, welcome aboard our flight today. We're wrapping up the final paperwork here, so get here on your way momentarily. I want to thank you so much for your company and business. Also, just taking a few screenshots for Facebook for later. Um, Norman, I think that is part of the setting. It does change a little bit, um, but no, I haven't investigated it. After this morning stream, um, I literally took the day off, and eventually, you know, in um, I can't remember what time it was. Late afternoon, I fell asleep, you know. So I woke up, started the stream again. So in between, nothing much happened. I'll I'll um, ask Twixter. Um, there's got to be some reasonable explanation. More than likely, how are we, we for looking in terms of readiness? Just mute them quickly. Um, in terms of the 189 packs issue, it could be even now. I've got a very high trim. I mean, 625. It's it's again. It's high. Um, I like what McTrying said, but we'll we'll I'll speak to Twixter, you know, over the weekend or or something. So we'll see. Kirsten, let me have a look. Uh, Kirsten, no, you can connect. You are the only one on that stand. You can connect right where you stand. Now just connect there. Let's get this thing going. IPU start up. Guys, I'm about five minutes from push, if even. Yeah, same. I'm here, I'm closing my doors, I'm sending the guys packing, starting the APU, and so I'm ready to push, because it's gonna take us a while to get everyone in there, so uh, push, somebody yeah. still need 10 minutes, you know, we might as well start and push, because we have, gonna have, what do you say, Cody, three minutes between everybody? Yeah, at least. Roughly. Yeah, just because of the ILS minima and all that, when we get closer, because yeah, we'll bunch up, it'll happen. And somebody will wind up going around, it'll happen. Thomas, I have Which is never... fine, I mean, I'm not, you know, 
Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. Thomas, I've never flown to China in the sim uh, with X plane. I did it maybe once or twice in FSX, so I'm not familiar with that area. The closest I got was Nepal um, recently with X plane. Uh, but that's a good idea. I need to go find some routes in China to make a plan. Go fly there. Right, so that takes care of the APU pressurization. Alright, so we can. Yeah, I can barely hear you, bud. Actually, close the doors, send the ground crew guys away, and call Pete to push back. Flight attendants prepare for departure, cross check, and I'll call Pete. Can't see better. It's the FMC done. Grounded cockpit, tow is driving up. I'm not sure why, Cody, my mic volume hasn't changed. It's still at 80%. Um, it might be in your user settings for your output volume. Yeah, I hear you, Thomas. Alright, so, let's go to our outside. Okay, you can pull back. Mic check one. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Okay, I, just, I haven't changed anything, so. Okay, guys, I'm no, ready for yeah. pushback. Same here. Same here. Yep. Where's everybody at in regards to their stands? Who's ready to push? I'm Where? closest okay. to the runway. And, hatches are closed. Ready to connect. and uh, Alex, you're 1788, yeah. right? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna push as well. I think Nico and I are gonna push at the same time. Is that okay? Because I'm, I'm gonna Yeah, push. just start yours okay. first. Okay, yeah, I just called the, the push cord then. I just called the push okay. cord now and it's connecting up. So uh, you'll hear me on, on Unicom, Nico, as soon as I start pushing and yeah, then okay. push after. So uh, I'm gonna mute myself on, on, on Discord. Okay. Same here, guys. Okay, so I've muted the Discord again. We can concentrate on the Ratson part of things. Alex, see what he does. Uh, well, I understood that he wants to push first. I don't think we're going to interfere with each other, to be quite honest. But I will do, I'll let him just go first. Make sure all my setups are correct. Looking good. Right. Let's go see where he's at. Southwest, uh, 1788, push back, start at 847, Ontario traffic, southwest 810, uh, push and start uh, from gate uh, 409 of the company, uh, Ontario. And I bet some controller somewhere is waking up to a site of all these aircraft and we're going to probably get the controller wanting to control us a little bit later. I, um, I've seen it so many times. If it doesn't happen, whatever, but uh, it usually happens. Alright, my turn. There we go. Starting pushback and you may start engines. So, backs off and engine start up. There we go, number two is going. 
Uh, Crystal, I'll have a look just now. Um, sorry. Let's quickly have a look. Yeah, 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 I can see you. You're in the American um, over there. That's you over there. It's, uh, Charlie Hotel uh, Echo Kilo 65. I've got you. Renke, you make it on me six after set. Delta 785 pushing and starting, uh, gate is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal on the left. We'll see you next time and have fun up there. Thank you young lady. Enjoy. We'll talk soon again. Southwest 810 Southwest 1788. Uh, why don't you go ahead and you'll lead us on the taxi. Uh, Roger will go. Southwest 810. Guys, we just got the ATC. Damn it, LAX Center. Fuck, I must say. <laughs> <laughs> On frequency. <laughs> One, two, five, eight. Oh man, really? LA Center, Southwest 18. Um, we have prepped for uh, departure at uh, Ontario. Do you cover this area, sir? Center, this is Southwest 18 at Ontario requesting a taxi folding point runway T6 uh, right. Why is he not a spot? Southwest 18, Roger, expect PDC, hold your position until I give you taxi clearance. So Ontario altimeter to 3004. Thank you, sir. Hold position until uh, we receive clearance. Uh, we are expecting the PDC and uh, 3004 on the altimeter, Southwest 18. Alright, easy enough. Three center southwest uh, 1788 on November 1 at Ontario, uh, ready for taxi, G26 right. Southwest, uh, well, just stand by, hold your position. Stand by, southwest uh, 
least it sounds like this guy knows what he's doing. Brum, brum, brum. Okay, well, let's get our flaps in order to do our checks on the controllers. Everything seems fine. Samuel, hello. Welcome to the stream. And look at that, look at that. Los Angeles Center Delta 785, request an IFR to San Jose. Yes, sir. Delta 785, Roger, expect PDC number 3. Roger, PDC number 3, Delta 785. Right, got my and PDC, so. 1899 calling earlier, or Southwest 1028. Squawk out 7170. Who was calling earlier from Ontario, the southwest? What was it called, son? Uh, 1788. Okay, stand by. 70. Oops. 7170. Uh, initial flight level will be 10,000, so we're going to have to reduce that one a little bit, because now under um, ITC control, we can't just do what we want to do. Los Angeles Center, American 256 with you. American 256. Squawk 7155. Um, Squawk 7155, American 256. Los Angeles Center Delta 1932 with you, uh, Las Vegas Delta Concourse, requesting uh, uh, IFR to Detroit. Yeah. LA Center, Southwest 810, uh, Ontario, ready for taxi runway 26 right, uh, Squawk 7170. Southwest 810, runway 269, taxi by November. Taxi by November, Southwest 810. Here we go, guys. Southwest uh, 1788, requesting taxi to 26 right. Uh, Southwest 788, runway 26 right, taxi by November, number 2 behind the company 737, Southwest 810. Southwest 78, uh, number 2 taxi behind company Southwest 810. Los Angeles um, Center, American 256, um, requesting climb to level 26, American 256. American 256, radar contact, out of 15,700, climb maintain, flight level 340. Do go, no worries, no worries, you go enjoy Los your Angeles, uh, dinner. 1899 on the ground in Ontario with the weather, IFR 2, San Jose. 1899, thanks for the weather, expect PDC. We'll expect PDC 1899, thanks. Los Angeles Center, Delta 1913, Las Vegas, request IFR to Detroit. 1913 and 1932. Okay, the cabin is secured. Have a good flight. 1932. I expect PDC, Vegas altimeter G999. LA Center, uh, Southwest 344 on the ground on Ontario, at ready for IFR to uh, San Jose. South 344, expect PDC, Ontario, alternative 3004. 3004, and uh, waiting for the PDC for Southwest. Yeah, I'm using the SciTech uh, yoke at this time. My other one, the honeycomb, should be here in the next two weeks. Los Angeles Center, Southwest 1028. Uh, go ahead. Uh, you sent me a message to contact you. We're on the ground here at LA about to uh, number one for takeoff, two four left. Oh yes, of course. Let's stand by. Hey, Los Angeles Center uh, does 1932 right for taxi 26 right. Mm -hmm. 1932 number 26 right, taxi via uh, Bravo. 26 right via Bravo, 1932. Yeah, 
Yeah, Samuel, you need to upgrade, my friend. You really need to upgrade. Oh, uh, I need to chance to talk now. LA Center, uh, Southwest 810 ready for departure T6 right Ontario. Thank you, sir. T6 right lead for takeoff, uh, Southwest 810. Center Southwest 1899 gate 403 in Ontario. Request push and start. Uh, call for taxi. Push start your own discussion. We got Doga pushing the yoke forward. Let's get some speed. Center Southwest 1888 holding at the whiskey 26 right. Ready for takeoff. I'm actually glad that we got some ATC now. I can fly a bit more proper. 4,900 feet, southwest 18.
Yes, sir. We do have my sight. All right. Maintain visual separation from the company. Wind is calm. Remain two six right. Cleared for takeoff. Clear for takeoff. Two six right. Southwest three foot four. We'll keep the company in sight. Southwest seven eighty five. Check the box. That one, thank you, Lucien. Well, Southwest 1899 on November 1, ready for uh, taxi. That's 1899, Robert 26, right, taxi, better look for it. 26, right, be November, Southwest 1899. Traffic standing there waiting for departure or company traffic. That's me over there, and that's Alex over there, and then from there on it's everybody else. Seven hundred, stand by. Number two two nine, Tango Bravo. 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 Two two n
you do on Tango Bravo, you were stepped on. I believe you're telling me the climb to 1,700 feet. No, or like 17,000 report advised the top of descent. When are you ready for descent? We'll climb for 17,000 and we'll report top of descent. Point uh, 229 Tango Bravo. Los Angeles Center, Delta 785, passing 3,800. Delta 785, we're going to contact 3,800, climb and maintain, follow the 340. Up to 340, Delta 785. Delta 344, we're going to contact 11,300, climb and maintain, follow the 340. Up to 340, Southwest 344. Southwest 1899, keep the Delta in sight, maintain visual separation from him, Romeo 26, right, Tim, take off. Maintain visual separation from the Delta Runway 26 right cliff takeoff, Southwest 1899. Oscar Mike 790, send your flight plan again, please. I'm really glad Cody thought of this route. Because now we can see some of the nice mountains and stuff in this area. Let's see what everybody's doing on Discord. Wow, now we've got a lot of guys here. How are you guys doing on Discord? Yeah, good. Yourself? What's good, thank you. I'm okay, climbing now. Yeah, likewise, passing uh, almost 11, uh, 110. Yeah, I've just passed 28. Yeah, 160. Oh, I'm at a 3,300. I'm out of 14. Glad you're flying with Uncle John. Pleasure. Yeah, I just want to say thank you for the first time on this board. You guys are very nice. Hey, you're welcome. I hope it's not the last time you come. <laughs> Definitely not. Thanks, Krister. Looking good, man. Looking good. Krister, I saw you when you were on the ground, but for some reason I don't see you currently. Let me just refresh the traffic. The traffic on Sim Toolkit Pro seems to come and go. It's it's not stable tonight. I don't know why. It's just taking some time to get used to it. Bit of practice. What's that? 
streaming and handling the plane at the same time and dealing with you guys on Discord same time. Well, man, I tell you, at least you're not on pilot edge. That would make things a lot more difficult. I'm sure, I'm sure. Oh, how so? I haven't tried it. Well, because you're not, in our case, you're on, um, you know, that's and we're, we're just dealing with LA Center right now. Pilot Edge, you would be dealing with clearance, delivery, ground, tower, departure, departure again if you have another SoCal departure, freak in that range. Then you'd be dealing with centers all the way until you get to your top of descent, throughout your descent, then you start dealing with approach and everybody else. So, I mean, you're making multiple frequency changes. Okay, I got it. You're constantly on the radio. Yeah, it's much more real. is as equal to, like, flying the plane itself. Yeah, it's pretty much as real as it can get as far as simulating airspace and all that stuff. Yeah, especially, you know, the SoCal region and things like that. They've got a really complex system there. And, uh, you know, those guys have really taken the time to really just nail that and make it. I get it. I get it. I just wish it wasn't so darn expensive. Man, you're telling me. I pay for it right now. I don't like but it's worth it, you know, I mean, especially if, like you set out, you know, in my case, I'm just doing the I ratings and getting those complete, and then I'll probably stop paying for it again, you know, up until I get those, and, you know, I'll pay for it here and there, because I was, I used to have it consistently, and then I, I dropped it just because of the price. But I get it though, man. I mean, you gotta pay those guys decent to wanna keep doing it, because it's not easy. And those guys, and they're top down. So, I mean, if you, you know, I guess in some cases, you know, they might have two controllers for like Los Angeles Center. But, you know, on, on off days when it's real light, you'll see a controller handling center, approach, departure ground, tower, and clearance delivery for all the airports in a second. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's ready, top of climb, which is convenient. Yeah, I'm climbing through uh, 16.9 right now, so. I'm on 3.4, uh, leveled out now on the cruise. You know, triple five, just under the comics to arrival, expect the yard to have those two runways, you said, approach all timber, three zero zero four. Uh, yeah, she was actually the one who handled me pretty much all day yesterday when I did the I-3, 4, and 5. All right, expect a little closer, number 2, 7, approach. Nico, do you fly with a changing cost index? Because every time I've tried the Z bike, I keep getting. Um, I I do not change it during the flight. Uh, Ryanair, we use six. Southwest, I use either twenty or forty, depending on the flight and my time. And. Um, yeah, in South Africa we fly on 20 mainly, so those are the three settings that I use, 6, 20 or 40. Got it, thanks. Yeah, last of three, was my mistake. It should have been the RNF not on X-ray. Expect the RNF Zulu. Justin, Justin, can you up your mic a bit? You're very soft. I, I don't know why, my, my mic volume hasn't changed. It's still like, uh. it's like 100%. Uh. I mean, I can, but I can, it's... I Just bring it closer to your mouth in. If you can. Any closer and it'll be in my mouth. <laughs> Sorry. Alley Center, Southwest 344, requesting to step away for about one minute. Okay. Hey, Center, Skyline 516 Delta Mike. This airspace is busy, eh? Skyline 16 Delta Mike. 
How does that sound now? LA, yeah, much oh, better. One, five, six, with Delta, Mike is on the ground. I was gonna say, uh, Cody, I Vegas, didn't realize you guys were all in the air. Uh, I'm still on the ground, so I'm gonna do a really, e really expedited taxi roll. Like, I hope nobody's looking right now. Six, Delta, Mike, Roger, the, uh, well, technically, per Boeing, you can taxi at 40% and one. You can't. So. I guess whatever speed you hit on the roll is whatever speed you hit on the roll, but What if I just, as I make my turn onto the runway, I hit Toga? Uh, actually, that that happens quite a bit in Vegas, because they'll they'll be on like a uh, short final, and they're like, hey, look, you know, and they delay departure. Don't, um, don't delay departure. Six right clear for takeoff. Would you like runway one two? That sounds almost like what I did this evening. I mean, I went on there, I pulled the throttle back, and then I said, no, stuff it. I just pushed it and went toga right in the row. Oh, okay, with the wrong one, kid. Right. Okay, yeah, why not? I've got, I got a roll call like that yesterday during my I-5. I was flying between Burbank and Las Vegas for the I-5 rating on pilot And I just called tower, you know, a couple hundred feet before I got to the hold point. And I was just like, hey, look, I'm ready. Just yeah. Like, no delay on the roll. Runway 15, clear for takeoff. Bye. <laughs> that sounds good. Um, November 516, tell the mic, runway 12, right, taxi, pilot's discretion, altimeter, 302. Sounds good until you get a shutter halfway down the runway and your plane starts to turn left. Charlie <laughs> Center, Southwest 344, back in. Listen, uh, the latest one, I think it's it ends with 17 at the end as well, I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, sorry, now I press the button, I'm talking to the guys on the stream, yeah, sorry. Airspeed's alive. Huh. He's way out of his airspace. And Los Angeles Center, a citation 550, uh, Mike Tango would like to pick up IFR to John Wayne, Orange County Airport. Attention number 550, Mike Tango, Roger, expect EDC, the altimeter at, uh, I'm not going to tell you anything about it. I thought you guys were literally going to be here for another half an hour getting yelled at by ETC, getting getting all sorted out, so I was like, I'm just going to take... Good morning, Los Angeles Center, Southwest. And then he's like, yeah, I'm passing... Somebody's like, I'm passing transition altitude, and I was like, shit. Yeah, that me. We all actually got off the ground faster than I thought. Cody, this is yeah, why we can't have nice things. Yeah, we Southwest 39. Actually, that's that's pretty good considering all the traffic that guy's in. Right if you look at that taxi man, he is. Oh, this guy is really good. Yeah, he's got it together. I wonder if he wasn't one. planning to sign on and saw all of our traffic and then was like, yeah, that'd be a good place to, to do some ATC. We, we once... Oh, man, I, I sorry. think he's... He, sorry, Nico. I think he's got to actually be part of the ZLA sector to handle ZLA. I don't think they can control wherever they are. Remember that evening. Know, Sorry, um, say again. Do you know if, uh, because you were a VATSIM controller for a while, right? Yeah, but I haven't done it in like three years at least, or no, two years at least. 
did they allow you to handle different sectors if you weren't a part of that? No, no, no. Look, um, in South Africa, if you were a South African controller, you could control any airspace within your um, qualification. So I'm not sure how it works in the US, but if I had to go to a different country, I had to apply for um, visiting status. Join the RNM Zulu runway 27 and approach clear to the RNM Zulu runway 27. Oh, this ortho, Cody. This ortho. Yeah, I don't have any. Uh, I need some. To and clear for the RNM I better approach. start prepping my descent here. Yeah. So, let's get the, the chart Here's on Clement, board. Clear for the RNM uh, Zulu runway 27 for South West 1020. LX control, Oscar Mike 790, with you at site level 2240, uh, inbound for waypoint charge. Campus 39, 51, descend the rocket to arrival, expect the ILS from 8 approach, alternative 3003. I'm quickly going to just cut the uh, radio chatter so we can actually speak. Alright, so. I'm going to prepare for the ILS, so my minimums will be 257 on the barrow. Alright, um, RVR, we shouldn't have a problem, it doesn't look like there's any issues with visual. Minimums, we're going to descend 2700. Uh, we're going to use ILS on 30 left. And that's about it, what we need from this chart, so let me start setting that up. Seven. That was easy. Right. Um, we're going to descend two thousand seven hundred. We said. Uh, listen, all the um, AVI tabs have got chart facilities. It all depends on whether you actually uh, download a PDF you know, free from the internet and read a PDF on it or whether you have your Navigraph subscription and then I can see my charts there anyway. If you look on my YouTube channel, um, you'll see the Avitab um, uh, tutorials. So just have a look for them and then you'll see how to load either the um, PDFs or the actual Navigraph, how to make the connection. To 700, okay. Alright, so what we can do, if we go back here, I can actually go to the airport. Okay, S, what's this, JC I think. Mm. Yes. Look at the same chart here. So, this is with Navigraph integration. Approach, uh, ILS localizer 30 left. And now we will have exactly the same chart on this tablet as we had on the screen just now. Excellent, Uncle John. Right, so let's bring this guy back on screen. Come on, and let's go look at our rest of our planning. So get web FMC. Okay. How far are we out? Right, so we can use Robbie. Three point nine, and we're going to land with three point five. So we need to drop four hundred kilograms off uh, the gross weight. So that'll be sixty-three eight. Six. I need to read better. 
Right, and we're gonna land with flaps 30, so we put that into position. At the descent, we go to forecast, we've got 18,000, then we need to look at the ISO deviation is minus 2. Local Q&H will be uh, 301130 .11. Oh, I know what I did wrong. Forward slash three zero dot. There you go. Now we're going to look for our winds quickly. Monitor Unicom, Southwest 18. Thank you for your ATC service. Good day. Phew. Right there, then. 15,000. Then we've got 10,000. So. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, appreciate it. Right though, okay, so top of descent is almost here, everything is set up, and... We oh. just talked for a minute about how this aircraft is butter. Okay, I just want to finish what I'm saying, and then we'll go back to their voice. Um, right, so top of descent is almost there, we've got everything set up, we've got everything we need except for the weather. 3011, I think we said... Three, zero. Oh. Just fly some GA and then try to fly the plane with the controls instead of trying to fly it with. I think some of them don't understand what crosshairs mean. They think it only means uh, something on a gun. You got it. We got some, some very interesting things in, in LA. Like, one guy read back the entire clearance, and then he said, and can you say again heading for blah, blah, blah. It's actually not good phraseology. It's much more efficient when you receive a clearance and miss part of it. You can say, say again heading, and he'd repeat the heading, then you you read the whole thing back. It's a lot more efficient. And Or if you don't understand the later ha the later half of the instruction, you can also say repeat starting with you know flight level. So he has to repeat it starting from the flight. Yeah, and Alex, I'm pulling back to point seven six as well here. Uh, Nico, say speed. Uh, I've got two six three indicated. My yeah, ground speed too. is four ten. I'm at uh, yeah, I'm at four nine. Shit, I have to slow down because I'm coming up on that top of descent. Well, I've just started my descent. Well. Might have a chance to practice my go around skills. I am really confused here. Yeah, that's that's common among the younger generation nowadays, you know. Getting a cabin altitude warning, but my pressurization is set correctly. Did you turn on your please? 
out of him. Check. Take a screenshot and. Thank you, Oscar. Oscar for the subscription. Welcome to the family. Hello, Angel. Have your window open? Take a screenshot of you, your packs and show us. Show there's a mis you made a mistake, so. Omnitube, hello, welcome. This is the is first leg. Hey, HD simulation. Okay. Switch to um, alternate mode and then back to. Uh... Otherwise, switch to manual and close. Hold the valve closed. Right, outflow valve switch. And hold it until it closes fully, you gotta watch it. San Jose traffic. I'm uh, looking at a QR. Uh, 1788, uh, descending via uh, Silicon 4, expecting Alice. So once if that next, works, uh, let us know. Approach San Jose traffic. What if you start a video on the Discord, Justin? That's a good plan. That'll be three zero left, Alex, right? Yes, three zero left. Did I say right? And one six left. San Jose traffic, southwest, uh, 1788, correct uh, landing, ILS, uh, three zero left, uh, San Jose traffic. What are you guys using for forecast winds? 30, 20, and 10? 2015. Um, using 30, 18, and 9. Alright. Justin, how's the comment? Posted it in training chat. Alex? Yes? I'm gonna go auto break one. I'll roll down as far as possible, as fast as possible, and then get off at the end of the runway. So just don't stop, just come. Okay. Did, uh, did it reset, Justin? Okay. No, I wouldn't yeah, sorry. do that. Unless it really looks like I'm go. gonna, I'm gonna hit you. Sure. Uh, I w uh, you uh, uh, I'm, you I'm, I'm not afraid of doing a, a, a go around. I've practiced them a lot, and it's kind of fun to do. Okay. But then it, it'll, it'll be messy to get back into the sequence because we have like five other planes coming in. Yeah. And then I'll have to declare a pan uh, a mayday because of fuel. Ouch. Well, yeah, because if I have to hold now for half an hour, I, d I don't have the fuel to hold. Gotcha. Might divert. No, no, no. Just listen. I'm going to stay fast on that runway. Be fast. Go to the very end. So you just come in behind me. If you if you use auto brake 2 or 3, you won't, you'll never hit me. I'll be way ahead of you on that runway, even if I'm still on that runway. Okay. We'll do that.
Angel, it's just the separation. Um, the ATC let us take off too close to each other, so we've got a separation issue. That's all. Yeah, Angel, that ATC guy was really good, but we were a lot of guys and his airspace was very busy, so, you know, things happened. Nico, it looks like we have about a 12, 13 nautical separation should be enough. Excellent. Especially since we keep the, the same speed now and have the same winds. Good, good. I'm not using speed brake at all. I'll keep off of it for as long as possible. Yeah, I'm keeping 280 knots right now. <laughs> Chris did a good one. Yeah, okay. Captain 5 and 9, not much my friend, we're busy descending into San Jose now and uh, not that far to go, passing through uh, 13,300 feet uh, yeah, we're getting there, how are you doing? What altitude are you down to, Nico? 12,000, Uncle John. 12.5 12, now. Thank you. Alex, I'm breaking now for 10,000, so I need to get to 240 indicated. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing that. Still, I'm still a bit above, but I'm gonna break in not two either. I might actually. Uh, 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 are you going to 240? What do you mean 240? Yeah, the speed. Yes, yes, yeah. Because at uh, Wilson, there's an, a mandatory 250 at uh, Wilson. Uh, I'm not using the same flight plan as you. Okay, I'll slow down to 240 as well. 
Yeah, um, when I wanted to set up the flight plan, I had issues and I just asked for what they read, so I got a different flight plan. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to do a speed intervention to 240 so that I'm done not catching up with you because I was at uh, 22. Oh, no worries. Um, I'm at Gilrow, that's my intersection. The next one is Clyde. At Clyde, I need to be at 230 knots, so it will slow me down shortly again. Yeah, Alex, I see uh, Wilson here, 250 knots above 8,000 feet. Exactly. I'm actually slowing down for, for Nico because otherwise I'm going to actually crash into him. Because he's at 240 and is uh, 10 nautical ahead, so I have to slow down. The moment I get past this 230 uh, restriction, or let me put it this way, I'll keep 230 up as long as possible, even if it's down to finals. I'll try and keep high speed. Thanks, Captain. Uh, 509, thank you. Now, the problem is if I fly a hold now, I have two other planes behind me. Nah, you'll be okay. Krister, I haven't thought of terminal A or B yet, um, must be honest, let's see. Uh, we'll probably go to terminal A, why not? I'm going to be yeah, at the I'm far end of the runway there. anyway. So we turn right, we cross over runway 30 right, we're going to be very close to terminal A if I use the full runway. Hey, it looks like our... Uh Cloud cover came up to 300 feet, and our visibility is up to. I'm still gonna fly the two. Uh, Andrew, be, be advised, I'm going to slow down to flaps one at uh, Gusty. And Cody. flaps five at the Clyde. Yes. The, uh, so it's set to alternate mode with valves fully open, and it, uh, it stopped. Let me look here. Okay, I've uh, intervened with the speed there, so I'm gonna do what I said. I'll just keep the speed up to 230. Keep it up. Alex, I'm getting very close to you. I'm thinking I'm just gonna kind of do a quick uh, left holding pattern here. Yeah, but then you're gonna have Cody behind. Yeah, yeah, I have to. You see, I have Nico at uh, 7.5 nauticals in front of me. That's, that's the issue I'm kind of I would love to go faster, but I'm coming up on Clyde at the 230 knots, and I can see you tailing me on TCAS, so... Unless you I got enough space attempt. down to Cody's, so I have plenty of space down to Cody's, so... Those okay. are the two yeah, guys, okay, yeah. So that's There's Alex, that, yeah, uh, Wilson, yeah. Andre. Who's Very holding? Close. Edward. I am Andre holding past, so at the um, Wilson intersection here, just past it. Oh, uh, Andreas. Yeah, Cody. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Well, we're, we're, we're trying not to crash into Nico. The problem is I have to slow down for Nico, and so Andre has to slow down for me, and, you know. No, that's um, fine. Well, I'm keeping 230. I said I'll keep it as long as possible. So I'm going to go to uh, high vac is the last waypoint. After high vac, I'm going to greatly you know, throw anchors to get myself to I'd be able to Oh, I see me, you see me. Yeah, it's possible. That's one hell of a uh, slowdown. 
Well, I'm gonna start slowing down as well now because I'm I'm getting to Clyde uh, to the intercept of the um, localizer, so I have to slow down as well. Start uh, letting shit hang out. So this high back, that's the final approach I'm fix. Just We're just gonna use okay, that then as a reference tonight, and then throw anchors. Yeah, Andre's in the hold. Yeah, well, you're passing guy now. ATC got got a spaced out like shit. Yeah, he yeah, did. I'm 11 miles from Wilson. We could have done better on our own, Alex. Is our I told you, it's about me. three minutes, but no. Mr. ATC wants to give all the RVSM aircraft two minutes spacing. See? Right, I'm going to throw anchors. There goes the gear. Let's slow down. We need to get to 152. Right, and we're going to have to stop the descent. Now, right, because guys, this I'm is now back, visual, uh, not even on the ILS. Heading towards Gesty, so uh, back on uh, track again. Who was that? That is uh, Andre, Southwest 344. I'm back. I had to pause mine. About 65 miles out there. Using Active Sky Clouds, Chronic I, that's my better one, so I don't usually change that. Thank you, thank you. I'll do my best to land better than this one. Um, <laughs> two miles from Wilson here. Right, let's take perhaps 30 for landing. Approaching. I'll Three, keep my speed zero, up as, uh, as long as I can here. I'm right now, 255 ground. got hardly any space in between you guys. Okay, I'm on the ground. Please come. I'm going to go through to the end. Okay. No way yeah, you're going to end. Yeah, space is terribly. I'm coming. Yeah, you won't eat me. I'm almost at the end of the runway. Please land. That's what she said. <laughs> Joe, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> San Jose traffic uh, runway 30 left vacated. Well, under pressure, right, guys, that wasn't a bad now. landing. Ariel, what's your ground speed? I'm at 247 right now. I'm going to slow yeah. way down. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm dropping back as well. Check, there's the lights, there's the lights. Oh. Pull my brakes. Close, but not that close. Yeah, I just put down some brakes. Alex, you're not that close to me. You, you, we had good spacing at the end. Guys, don't be afraid to just uh, put it in the sausage machine. You know, just crank it send out. Send it. Yeah, send it. Some of the traffic, be advised. Uh, some wind shear and show final sound for the traffic.
San Jose traffic, uh, southwest, 18 taxi to uh, terminal Alpha. Approaching, one, two, left. And we're crossing the runway, by the way. Uh, right now it's 18 knots, uh, Christer. I don't know what my ground speed was that you referred to, but anyway. Let's quickly get the parking or just stop here somewhere out of the way and then just watch this landing. Let's see if we can see Alex. Andre, what's your ground speed? Uh, we are uh, currently 195. Thanks, Captain. Thanks for watching and bye bye. See you next time. San Jose traffic, Southwest 344, established 30 left south. San Jose traffic. Well done with the separation, Alex. Good landing, welcome. Sorry, traffic, so we're 1788, clear front way, 30 left, uh, San Jose traffic. Calling uh, saying Nico, I'm on I'm on Discord. Yes. Stream streaming. Okay, okay. I'll let you watch now. As you're on the ground, Nico, is it optional to put in the V ref or is it essential? That's essential. Um, otherwise you might not have the right speed because that's your reference point that's the whole point behind reference yeah because it, it, if you have tailwinds if you, you you need to actually take that into account otherwise because when you're landing into speed with respect to the ground that's it yeah i understand thanks very much so when you have a headwind you actually want to land faster yeah I, yeah okay i got you thank you there's a formula somewhere for this. I'll share it after. I think it's the, the headwind component plus a half the, half the, the full cost. But we don't have an other guy here. Hmm. Anyway. Okay, yep. If you guys coming in on uh, three zero, HD simulation. Um, see you next time. Yeah, thank you for watching. Um, maybe come fly with us sometime. Anybody on stream who, uh, who want to join us, feel free to join us. Right, so looking at the speeds, they're quite slow, uh, hundred knots. So I can increase that speed just alter it to what I want basically within the constraints is that right San Francisco traffic 920 33 turning to uh, intercept island street right yeah. so the traffic southwest uh, 7888 uh, taxi to terminal bravo via kilo and uh, zulu that was the traffic Yeah, thanks Nico, that was really nicely handled in terms of separation, even though even, um, ATC was a dumbass. Andre, let me know when you are clear, I'm uh, a couple miles behind you here. San Jose traffic, uh, Southwest 344, two miles behind, all trees are left.
I presume this is Andre. XP Aviator, and there's the next guy. I'll get a better angle here. Yeah. Gonna rather zoom from here then. It's gonna say traffic southwest 344, clear of a 30 left. So I'm gonna say traffic. Wow, that was close. Who's Delta 785? He's landing. Yeah, Andre came in very fast. I think he, he delayed breaking onto the last possible I saw, moment. I saw, yeah, he... using down that runway. He did, he did. That was a nice job, Andre. Like a pro. Who's Delta 785? One of us? That was me, Nico. Yeah, sorry about that. I was trying to... Yeah, I had to uh, try to uh, keep my speed up as late as I could. Yeah, good, good job, Andre. Much, much appreciated. Um, okay, well, uh, there's nothing to apologize for. That was a good landing, and um, uh, what what is astonishing to me is just the way that it really worked out well at the end. I mean, Andre just left that runway. It was clear for you, and you could land. I presume um, it's aerial, right? Yeah, that's right. I was okay. trying not to go around. I probably should have gone around, nah, but uh, nah, as soon nah, as nah. it was clear, I figured it'd be okay. For sure, for sure. That was a good job. Good job, guys. Yeah, it was just um, the ATC didn't space us nearly close enough. Far enough. Okay, okay let me Adult. see. Center safe traffic, southwest 344, taxiing Bravo Gate, San Jose traffic. There's a lot of clouds we're coming into here. Yeah, yeah sir, it's uh, clear, pretty, uh, three zero left. pretty windy. Right guys, so that's Uncle John I've got on stream now, so let's see how he lands. All you, Cody. Any one of you have a favorite game? Yeah, no pressure. Do you mind if I just park the plane? Just park it. I'm going to 28, so don't take that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going nah, to go to, what is that, uh, 17? If you bitch about it, Cody, I'm, uh, I am going to go to Trinity. <laughs> Southwest 1899, 4 mile final ILS, runway 3 zero left. San Jose. It's funny because uh, um, Active Sky did a weather update and it basically gave me KVOC and I had to force it to update again to give me the correct weather. Okay, and land three is committed. Whoopee. Very nice landing, Uncle John. A great, nice landing. John. Hey, McDrang. What's it? It's kind of funny. Um...
Or did you rip up the, the flaps? Yeah, possible. I yeah. don't know, but the speed did you have a... was red. Okay. Oh, yeah, if it's red, then, then you're too slow. Uh, or he yeah. was too fast and he ripped the flaps off. Either or. Remember, yeah. there's a top and a bottom yeah, on the red. If you have an uncommended roll to one side all of a sudden, then you rip the flap off. Yeah, if you just I think fall the out of the sky, you're going too slow. Yeah, uh, it was vibrating. I think it's the flaps. Don't oh, worry. Well. Don't yeah. worry. We will send the ambulance and the fire brigade. <laughs> it's a simulator. We all have a right to get it wrong. That's why it's a sim. Yeah. Black Nico, ambulance. get in your limo and go down and pick up those flaps at the end of the runway. <laughs> okay, I'm <laughs> <three>. <laughs> Uh, good one. Guys, excuse me for just two minutes. Um, my wife just called me. I'm going to let the stream ride because there's some more guys that need to come in. Who else needs to land? Or are we done? I do. I'm on my final. All right. And Cody needs to land, obviously. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm going to let the stream ride. Um, I'll just back up a little bit. And I'll be back just now. just want to see how I can help the wife quickly. Sadly, can't see me. <laughs> Yeah, there is a toilet at the end of uh, runway 30 left, so please uh, come in yeah. a little bit higher. And, <laughs> and yes, yeah, sure. and we did get it on camera, though, so you can relive it. <laughs> I like thoughtful people. I'm not sure Hello, any Uncle of my jacks have their teeth yet. Hello, Uncle John. Quiet at the back, then. Uh, are we there, Reggie? Yeah, good, thank you. Good. Through cloud now, you know, getting a bit edgy. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, at, at really least fun. you didn't do, like, uh, Pegasus Air. VNAV. Uh, our, our nav approach I'm using. I mean, those morns try to land with a, with a 37 gusting. Okay, yeah, thanks, guys. I need to educate myself on that one. Okay, guys, I'm off. I have to work tomorrow. It's midnight, yeah. Let's be out of the cloud now. Sorry, sorry. Good night. Yeah, good night. Good night. So long. Thank you, bye. See ya, bye. Through the cloud, this is a great approach. 30 right, I'm coming over, over the tall buildings. Cody, you still on approach? Yeah, I had to go around. Yeah, I'm, I'm on a v midfield downwind for a visual 3-0. Oh, I see you there. Yeah, we'll keep it tight, I think. Yeah, I made it on uh, left as well. Oops.
I'm down. Okay, guys, um, I'm back. Chronic, I've got HD airport environment and I've got, got that ALES as well. This is an add on airport, so all I can think is they might be overriding whatever is happening here. I'm not sure. Or a, uh, that ALES thing is overriding HD environment. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm back, guys. Hey, Nico. Cody, you landed yet? No, oh, he's on the base. Uh, two mile, two mile final. I'm just, uh, I'm just pulling, pulling off the runway. So I'm down in one piece. Okay, but you're not online, eh, Reggie? Unfortunately, no, not at the moment. All right, okay, I've got the uh, Cody visual. Anybody else still need to land? I'm not online, but I'm working on it. Okay. I'm assuming it's ATC here, is there? Nope. Oh, it could have been online. What a blur. Thank God. Is that you taxiing 4833? Four, four, no, that's a, a different guy. He's not part of our group, Uncle John. Okay, thank you. Well, I'll stop and I'll... That's good news, Krister. Welcome. That's disappointing. Good landing as well. Funny. Looked like you went underground there. Southwest 4833 is going to go position and hold on 30 right. Uh, Southwest just landed if you'd like. I'm happy to wait for you to cross 30 right. See you. Kilo crossing, uh, three zero right, Kilo, Santa Santa traffic. Yeah, we got you. Go park somewhere next to one of us so we can get a bit of a, a group shot again for Facebook. Okay. Yeah, 48-33, we're clear of a three zero right, sir. I'm Sounds good, thanks. Southwest 4833, departing runway three zero right on the taxi three departure. That was lovely guys and uh, guys on stream thank you for watching and nice to have you guys here on a late Saturday evening and um, I hope Can I'm going to do one more stream <laughs> over the weekend. Anything. Just spray models. If your models are grey then you didn't install your um, CSLs properly. So, question: Which one were y'all taking uh, a landing in, in John Wayne? At uh, two zero right for me in John Wayne, and then three zero right for departure here. Copy that. I'll take three zero right and two zero right. Right, well, guys and girls on the stream, that's about it for me now. Uh, it's getting late, so I'm gonna switch off and head to bed. And like I said, if everything goes well, I'll do another stream tomorrow. Um, I'd love, love to fix the stream and the landing of this morning. So I'll probably do that for Ryanair again. And if you guys can join me, wonderful. If not, um, please enjoy the rest of your weekend and we'll talk again soon. Bye-bye for now.